Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with you how to make some yummy pumpkin muffins. Pumpkin muffins are definitely my daughter's favorite dessert when it comes to pumpkin and I'm going to show you my very simple recipe. These are all the ingredients that we need to make these fabulous muffins. Are you ready? Let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start with our dry ingredients and we have some flour. I'm using regular all-purpose unbleached flour and we're going to be using one and three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now to that we're going to be adding our spices. Our spices today for our pumpkin is very simple and these spices are what really makes our pumpkins just pop with flavor and these are the same spices that I like to use this same combination I like to use when I am making my pumpkin pie and that was cinnamon and we used two teaspoons of cinnamon and trust me two teaspoons of cinnamon is definitely what you need and then also we used a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and we are going to use some ground cloves for that nice warming flavor that goes so well with pumpkin and that was also a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves now once we have our ground cloves and our spices are in there we're going to add some salt and we're going to be using a half of a teaspoon of just regular table salt now also we're going to add our leveling and our leveling ingredient is going to be our baking soda and we're going to put in one teaspoon of baking soda now in the description box below where it says show more I'm going to have a list of all the ingredients you need to put together these yummy pumpkin muffins and hey if you are new here welcome and if you're a returner welcome back if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I invite you to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to show this video some love and give it a thumbs up now once we have all of our dry ingredients in our bowl I gave it a nice mix because you just want to mix everything all together next what we're going to do is we're going to start on our wet ingredients we're going to be using a full can of pumpkin and this is pumpkin puree and this is a 15 ounce can that I'm using and so you're going to use all of the pumpkin puree put it right into a big mixing bowl okay because we are going to be adding our dry ingredients to the wet ingredients that we are going to build and this is going to be the base of our pumpkin now next what we're going to do is we're going to use some butter and I'm using salted butter I've melted the butter and I've also let it cool do not add the hot butter to uh, your puree. You definitely want to have your butter cooled first, okay? So after I've added the nice cooled melted butter, and like I said, that was salted butter, next what we're gonna do is we're going to go on and mix everything together. We're gonna mix and blend in and incorporate that melted butter with the puree. This is going to make our muffins so silky, soft, fluffy, delicious. That melted butter just really does something special to these muffins. And so once you've done a nice good mix and you've incorporated that, we're going to add in our sugars. And we're using light brown sugar and we're also going to use granulated sugar. And so after I've put in my light brown sugar, and that was three-fourths of a cup of light brown sugar, give that a nice stir and really blend in that um, light brown sugar. Then next, add in your granulated sugar sugar and that's also a three-fourths of a cup of granulated sugar give everything a really good stir because next up we're going to add in some vanilla and we're going to be using some pure vanilla extract and this is going to be one teaspoon of that pure vanilla extract the vanilla really gives these muffins a really well balanced flavor and so I love putting some vanilla extract in my pumpkin muffins 
give everything a stir, and then add in your eggs. And that was two large eggs that we're gonna be putting in at room temperature. Make sure your eggs are at room temperature because they're gonna blend so much better in your muffin mix if those eggs are at room temperature. Add them in one at a time. Get your mix really nice and frothy. Make sure that you do a nice mix, the sides, the bottoms, and all the way around. Now that dry ingredients that we had earlier, we're gonna add it now to our wet ingredients okay so go on and add them a little bit at a time I like to do it in three stages I like to add it in thirds and so I add in a third the first third the second third and then that last third of that flour mixture mix everything around you want to make sure that you're kind of being gentle with your batter you want to just uh, blend the flour until it gets moistened with that wet ingredient all right now while I'm doing this, I have my oven is preheating on 375 degrees, okay? And so go all around your bowl, just like that. Now when it comes to doing your pumpkin muffins, there's, um, oh, and you want your batter to look like this. Do you see how the batter is looking nice and smooth? You want your batter to be nice and smooth. You don't want any clumps or any lumps, okay? Now when it comes to the pumpkin muffins, you can do different mix-ins. I like to use, and the kids love, uh, me using the semi-sweet chocolate chips. So you can use semi-sweet chocolate chips or you can use pecans. And I'm using pecans. I like pecans in mine. And so though, but with that, what I did was I add that little bit of flour and with that little bit of flour that I added to the chocolate chips and to the pecans, it's going to make sure that those mix-ins, those chocolate chips and those pecans don't sink to the bottom of your muffins and just all end up at the bottom. It's gonna make sure that they are evenly distributed throughout your muffin mix, okay? So just like that, I'm mixing in those semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I like to use my little uh, scooper, and this is my cookie scooper that I'm using. And we're gonna fill our muffin tins. Now your batter is going to give you about 20 muffins, okay? You're gonna end up with about 20 muffins, give or take one or two, but you're gonna end up about 20 muffins. Once you fill your muffin tins, take a spoon, just like I'm doing there, and just kind of even out. Don't press down, but you just kind of want to go back and forth very gently and just kind of level off or even off um, your muffins. You're also going to fill muffin uh, tins. You're going to fill your muffin cups three-fourths full, okay? So that was my first uh, batter that I had did. And now with this one, this one's going to be with the pecans. And I'm also gonna do some plain pumpkin muffins as well. And so once we have all of our muffins, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with that first batch of filling it three-fourths full and then using the back of the spoon like I was showing you just to kind of level off on our muffins. So our muffins are ready for the oven and they are gonna bake from 20 to 25 minutes. Well y'all, our muffins have baked for 20 minutes. Our kitchen smells so good with the pumpkin and the spices. We're gonna let our muffins cool for a minute right here in the tin before we transfer them to our cooling rack. And then we're gonna go on and give our muffins a try. And these muffins freeze so good, so well. And you can always just freeze them in a nice freezer bag once they are nice and cool. But let's see how we did, guys. Let me tell you, these muffins are so soft. They're so soft and fluffy. Oh my, they are nice and moist. And let's see, mm, these taste so good. Well, I hope you give this recipe a try. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go on and hit that subscribe button. Well, that is it for me today, guys. And remember, it is always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.